In this lesson, I am going to discuss literal equations. A literal equation is just an equation where some or all of the quantities are expressed in terms of letters or variables. Here are some examples of literal equations. What we want to do in this lesson is, given a literal equation, we want to solve for one variable in terms of the rest of the variables. So for example, here we're given that v is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. Let us first solve for h. Let me just write the formula here, 1 third pi r squared h. The first thing that I want to do is to remove this 1 third over here. How can we do that? Using multiplication property of equality, we can multiply both sides by 3. So therefore, this gets cancelled out. We have 3v is equal to pi r squared h. And remember, this is your goal here, your h. h is multiplied to pi r squared. To get rid of pi r squared, what do we do? Divide both sides by pi r squared so that we can get rid of pi r squared. We now have that h is equal to 3v over pi r squared. That's letter A. Next, we want to solve for r. My r is here. r is here. We want to get rid of 1 third pi the square and the h here. So in order to determine which ones to remove first, you have to determine what was the last operation that happened with r. Using PEMDAS, what happened with r here? r was raised to 2, correct? And then multiply 2 pi and h and multiply 2 1 third. So therefore, again, we have to get rid of 1 third. So it's like we are undoing the operations that was performed here. To remove 1 third here, I will again multiply both sides by 3. We can have 3v equals pi r squared h. My r is here. What is the next? variable that we will get rid of. We have to get rid of pi and h, not the exponent, because multiplication was done after the exponent. Divide both sides by pi h, so that we have r squared is equal to 3v over pi h. And now we are ready to get rid of our exponent 2 by getting the square root of both sides. So hence, we have that r is equal to the square root of 3v over pi h. Next, let us look at this example. We want to solve for x. The first thing that I want to do here is again to get rid of my denominator. So therefore, I will multiply both sides by the LCD. What is the LCD here? Look at your denominator. So to get rid of 3x, t, and m, I will multiply both sides by my 3x, t, and m. 3x, t, m. This times this, 3x will get cancelled out. We're left with t, m. Plus 3x, t, m times t, x. Tx will get cancelled out, so we have 3m is equal to this times this, m will get cancelled out. We're left with 3xt. Now our x is already here, and what do you do now to solve for x? It is multiplied to 3t. So therefore, we just divide both sides by. 3t. There you go. x is equal to tm plus 3m over 3t. For our next item, we want to solve for m. Take note that I will just be looking at this equation here because this one has no denominator. We want to solve for m. We want to get something like this. m equals something. But then your m, which appears on this side of the equation, appears twice. 
how do we make sure that we only get 1m? We can factor out m, that is a common factor of these two terms. So we're left with t plus 3, 3xt. And therefore, t plus 3 is multiplied to m, so I divide both sides by t plus 3. There you go, m is equal to 3xt over t plus 3. Another example, we're given that S is equal to A minus RL over L minus R. Let us solve for L. Just like in the previous slide, I want to get rid first of the denominator. So I will multiply both sides by L minus R. This is S times L minus R is equal to A minus RL. Remember that we want to obtain L in the end. So therefore, what do we need to do? We have to collect all the L's on one side of the equation, just like in the previous slide, and factor out L. How can we do that? First, I will distribute S. SL minus SR is equal to A minus RL. We will now collect all the terms with L's on one side and all the terms with no L's on the other side. So I have SL, my minus RL here, I will put it on this side. It will become plus RL. And then I have A minus SR will go to this side. It will become plus. Now we can factor out L have L times quantity S plus R is equal to A plus SR. We can now divide both sides by S plus R. There you go. Our L is equal to A plus SR over S plus R. Let us now solve for R. Take note that I retain this part because this equation over here is equivalent to the original equation with the exception that it no longer has a denominator and there are no more parentheses involved. So we now have our terms over here. So just like what we did with item A, to solve for R, we just have to collect all the terms involving R. So let me just put my terms with R here. I have RS minus RL is equal to SL minus A. Next, we will now factor out R so that we will only have one R appearing. And now we can divide both sides by S minus L. There you go. Our R is equal to SL minus A all over S minus L. For our last example, we're given F is equal to the reciprocal of this fraction here. We want to solve for B. Since this is a complex fraction, what I will do is simplify this complex fraction first. I have F. How do we simplify 1 over A plus 1 over B? Get the LCD. That's AB. And then AB divided by A is B plus AB divided by B is A times 1. So that's This is equal to, how do you divide a fraction with another fraction? You copy the numerator, which in this case is 1. And then this division over here becomes multiplication and you get the reciprocal of your denominator. We have AB all over B plus A. Let me just write that here. F is equal to 1 times this is just AB all over B plus A. Now we're ready to get rid of our denominator. We multiply both sides by B plus A. This is B plus A times F. This times B plus A, B plus A gets cancelled. Remember that when you are solving, you always have to get rid of your parentheses. Always distribute. We have BF 
plus AF is equal to AB. What is the next step? Collect all the terms involving B because B is what we are solving for. I have BF. I will put the AB on this side minus AB is equal to this AF will go here. So it will be minus AF. Factor out your B. We're left with B. F minus A is equal to negative AF. And therefore, we can now divide both sides by F minus A. Therefore, B, I will just write it here, B is equal to negative AF over F minus A.